the word addiction, if you've been affected or someone in your family or friends have been affected, you know how impactful it can be. But lucky for the Bay Area, there are some great resources. And one resource that we're so excited to introduce you to today is Turning Point of Tampa. And we get to welcome in the CEO and clinical director, Robin Piper Lutz. Good morning, Robin. How are Good you? Good, Natalie. Thank you for having us. Uh, let's back up a few times on the show since it's been on for a few years now we've been able to talk about addiction and the resources that are out there but let's first talk about the disease itself and what you are able to see because i think a lot of times if it doesn't affect you directly it just goes on a back burner but addiction really should be something the whole community focuses on right absolutely i think education is the key to stopping the epidemic that we have of addiction you know last year the overdose rate and deaths increased 31% in the pandemic. And those are really frightening numbers. And I think starting to talk about what's going on is the key to helping people understand what to do. And how do we help change that stigma? Because I think even when you know I started the segment by just throwing the word addiction out there, some people go negative. This truly is a disease and changing the way we look at it really can be a first step for the community. Absolutely. Just start to understand and educate people that this is not a moral issue. It's not a moral dilemma. Addiction does not just happen to bad people. It happens to all of us. And I would venture to say there are a few people listening who aren't touched somewhere in their family by addiction, um, somewhere, alcoholism, problems in the family because of it. And I think the stigma comes because we don't talk about it, because people feel so much shame about having addiction in their family that they don't share their struggles with other people and they don't reach out for help. The way to stop that from happening is to start talking about it. You know, I run a family support group for families of clients here in treatment and once they leave and they all tell me that once they started talking to their families and friends about the struggles they were having, everybody could relate to what they were saying. Yeah, for sure. You know, one thing, too, that I've been able to learn about Turning Point of Tampa, not just drug addiction or alcohol addiction, you also help those struggling with eating disorders. Explain why that's so prevalent and why that's something people need to make note of and get help for. Right. You know, the number one population that's growing with eating disorders is young males at this point. Um, historically, this has been a disease that people think of young white college age women struggling with but eating disorders are rampant. And again, with the pandemic last year, all of these isolative, addictive type of behaviors just seem to grow in that isolation. And I wanna give you a chance to talk about the facility there itself, which by the way, celebrating 34 years in February, which is just remarkable. Give people an idea of what the facility is able to do and offer families. We talked about the family support groups, but then of course a client, what they're able to receive there at Turning Point. Right. We provide residential day treatment and intensive outpatient treatment for people struggling with alcoholism, drug addiction, and eating disorders. So no matter what level of care you're looking for, you can get the help you need. We have a one campus facility. We've been in the town and country area of Tampa now, like you said, for 34 years. And you know we really focus on providing that excellent clinical care and finding the right level of care for the person in need. Robin, since this really is the first time that you've been able to join us from Turning Point of Tampa, I want to be sure and give you the last word. To leave our audience with something, leave our viewers with something, what do you want them to know about Turning Point, how you're able to help the community, and really addiction overall? You know, what's important to us is we start to educate people, the families of loved ones who struggle, the people who are struggling. If you go to our website, you're going to find a lot of educational information that can help you just deal with this problem even if you're not at the point yet where you're ready to get help, that process of starting to educate yourselves. So go to the website, read the information for families, for friends, read the blogs, read the, chat, read the chats, read the recovery stories, just start to familiarize yourself with the help that is out there. And then when you're ready to talk to somebody, give us a call. And just being able to share that you're not alone feeling. I know addiction can be so isolating for families and, of course, your clients that we're talking about. I love that you were able to share the website, and I love that you shared some of your time with us today. Thank you very much. Take care. And, of course, there's the website and phone number, too. Robin, we hope to see you again. Be well. Thank you. You, too.